Welcome to Watchdog's CampusNet Managed Service. What we're going to show you here is how you can um, modify your filtering. You can adjust your filtering to suit your requirements with our new upgraded and enhanced service. The first thing we need to do is to open a browser and type in the address filter.watchdog.net.nz. Right, you'll be open, a, a um, little window would come on uh, asking you for your username and password. Now, this username and password is what you would have been given when you first signed up for the Watchdog. It is an FN and a six digit number. So the first two digits are FN, then you have a six digit number. Now, if you do not have this number, it would have been given to your uh, network administrator. Um, if you want to request this from Watchdog, then we would just need to confirm that um, for security reasons. So we'd, the best way would be to send an email to uh, help, tech help at watchdog.net.nz and we can organise that for you. Okay, the opening screen shows you the four components of the web filtering service and there's on off buttons for each of the components. Um, I think the only application for these would be if you're doing some testing, you're having some problems that you wanted to turn things on and off just to test it because by turning the parental control off for example, the parental control means the, the, the web filtering, then you have no filtering at all for the school uh, while that's off. So, um, that's probably the best use for this. So just by clicking that back on we now have uh, re reapplied the service. Okay so when we, we look along the top here we have um, options which are the components of the service. The first one we'll look at here is the uh, parental control. Now what you'll see here the first row of ticks You've got a choice to enable safe search or enable password override. Now the password override we don't recommend because this will mean that a blocking page will come up if a site is blocked and then it will ask for a password. And that is really only, only applicable for a residential style connection. So to enable safe, safe search which is on by default just make sure there's a tick in the box and this will ensure that your Google and your Yahoo safe searches are enabled so whenever anyone goes to those sites it, they'll be forced on by the service. So to disable that just select the tick and scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the accept button. Once a little window comes up that confirms that any changes that you've requested have been made. We recommend that the uh, enable safe search is on at all times. The next box, row of boxes here is the options that you have for the different categories that are blocked. So as you notice there's around 50 different categories here of the websites that are blocked and, there's a, and, the, and this one indicates most of our default ones that will be set up for most schools. You have the option to add additional ones just by clicking on it. For example we may choose gambling just by selecting the tick and then clicking the accept button at the bottom. We want to remove that service, we just select the tick and accept again. There are two categories not listed here, um, those are pornography and anonymizers. Both, both of those are the default services which most schools would never have to turn off but are available to be switched off upon request um, from watchdogs, just contact our technical help desk for that. So the next option we have here is, is the types of files that can be blocked. And you'll notice here that by default we have some files selected to be blocked. But by clicking on the plus it tells us that any file with extension type KKK will be, will be blocked. And we can remove that by ticking it, the de delete key, and now that option is no longer there. 
If, for example, we chose to block certain types of programs, you can do that just so, for example, we don't want people to unload uh, to unload exe files, which executables. We select that, and now we'll find that once we click the accept key, all files of type exe will be blocked. So they won't be able to be downloaded um, through your, your web connection. We've, but but uh, use this with, with caution because we find that, for example, technicians may want to download certain program files and by doing this, you'll restrict what they can do. Most of the time we find that schools will block the types of file that they want to on their own servers, so that would not be necessary. The other main area here is the black and white lists. So by selecting that on the left, a whitelist is sites that will be accessible at all times. So if you want, for example, to include a blocking category but just want access to one site, you just type the site in here. So we'll choose the site whitelist1.com. By clicking on the Add button and clicking the Accept button at the bottom, that site is now listed. In our whitelist, which means it will be always be accessible no matter what categories are set under your parental control options. If we choose to remove that from the list, we just select it, click the delete button, and the site is no longer there. If there are sites that you want to add to your blocking list, then you just put them in here. We already have badstuff.com, so we're adding badstuff1.com here. By clicking the add, it's now in our blacklist, and the accept key applies that. And through the same method, you can remove that by clicking the delete key. The other options we have here is the ads free and the anti phishing. Um, those are uh, there's very minor things to change there, so it's not normally applicable. We also have a timetable option here, and the timetable is, is not applicable to schools in this case either. The other area on this one is contribution. Contribution allows you to select a website and send it off to Optinet who will add it to their database if you, if you believe that it should be either not in the category that you've found it to be blocked in or it's an additional site that should be added then you just type the web page address in here and you can select your email address if you want to have a response to that and just a remark to say for example you, you decided the site which was uh, Naughty.com, for example, you wanted to have that blocked in the pornography category, then you'd probably suggest that they do that. And if it meets their criteria, then they will do that. So just by pressing send, the message will go immediately up to, to Optinet. If you have an email address in there, you should get a response within half an hour, uh, 24 hours a day.